Hey guys, this is Blitz. I haven't made a video in a while. I will hopefully make a video later on about how to play the four position uh, and all that jazz, and just how to how to basically roam the map. But for now, uh, just want to address some things because it's kind of an interesting topic for me. And I feel like I should get this shit off my chest. It's like 2 p.m. right now, and I haven't slept in like 24 hours, so maybe this isn't the best idea, but uh, here it goes anyways. So recently, I had offhand said on a stream that, and I actually rewatched the VOD, and I might have missed it because I just rewatched it after not sleeping, but uh, I had said that I found that taking a high MMR player's role is fairly game ruining. I don't mean in the sense that if you're 5k and you take a 5.5k player's role, I mean if you're 5k MMR and you take a 9k MMR player's role, then you no longer want the same things. Like you don't want to really gain 25 MMR. What your priority then is playing your own role. Like that's more important to you. My perspective is when I play uh, solo ranked match ranking, I want to win points. The improvement aspect and all that, it comes along with it, but the majority of the reason why I play is to win points. I like that number to go up. I think most people do. That's why they get so tilted about playing solo queue and stuff like that. For a lot of people that play at this level, and I mean that are from like 5k and up, their goal is also to gain MMR. It should be because, yeah, a certain subset of people are only looking to improve and they don't really care what their MMR is. But for the most part, that's also how you gauge your improvement, right? It's the only real tangible way that you can kind of see whether or not you're getting better. It's one of the best ways to get noticed as a professional as well. Uh, I mean, there's just tons of good benefits to having good MMR, higher MMR. You get better quality games. Like, there's not a whole lot of downsides to having uh, higher MMR. The point, though, that I was making and that I was not justifying or trying to justify because I do not ruin games. You can go through my profile list. I went through it earlier with people. I think I've abandoned three games in the past, like 300, 400, and two of them were internet related. One of them, my team just wanted the game to be over. We had a Templar assassin go Blightstone first item, die six times mid, and we found out through their 300 XPM, 300 average GPM that they were an account buyer and they were very proud of the fact. So I just said, okay guys, I'll take this one, I'll leave. The other abandon was because my internet cut out in the middle of the pick phase and I didn't have enough time to pick, so I had to pick whatever hero came first. And so I abandoned for my team so that nobody else would lose MMR. I do not like game ruining. I'm not condoning it in the least. I Every time CCNC... One time, you can go find the VOD of CCNC. He plays a game with me. He plays Puck. He gets mad because he gets ganked and he leaves. And the first thing I do is I message him and I say, what the hell? Like, what are you doing, man? because I care about my MMR and I said what the fuck are you doing stop doing that he can attest to this as well but at the same time the only argument that I was trying to make the entire time is if you are a 5k player playing with a 9k player please let the 9k player take his preferred role the 8k player take his preferred role it's not often that you're going to get into games like that it really isn't uh, I probably, I'm one of the higher MMRs and I get into these 8, 9k games very rarely. But if I am in one of those games, I want to have the best overall experience for everyone involved. I want my 9k player to have a good time playing. I want everybody else who, on my team who also wants to gain MMR. I'm assuming that most of the people on my team have the same goals as I do and they want to gain MMR. And they want to see the 9k player play their preferred role as well. Like that in my opinion, should be your goal when you play solo ranked matchmaking. If it's not, then you can always play party games with your friends. That's a good way to improve too. You can play unranked. But my point that I made about practice, I guess uh, was pretty bad because everyone's trying to practice. But at the same time, I think the main goal above all else is to gain points, is to win the game. I can always tell when I'm playing better by the amount that I'm winning. I truly can. That's one of the best ways for me to track it. I know people don't think it's perfect, but for me, it works relatively well. It means that I'm at least doing the right things that are leading to me winning. So that's it. Please. I never said that I was okay with game ruining. 
I'm just trying to empathize and say that it really sucks ass when somebody that is 3K, 2K MMR below you at a high level uh, and you get your role taken. That's it. That's the argument. Everyone's saying I'm super elitist about MMR. No. I'm not that high of MMR when it comes to it. But if I'm playing in a game and I'm 2K MMR above everybody, which happens from time to time, I would expect to be able to pull, you know, push into the mid wave and say, hey guys, this is this is the role that I want to play. But I mean, there are plenty of games where, not recently, but where I do play non-mid like this. I had to play Drill Ranger for these guys. Uh, I had to play Clockwork. Batrider, Clockwork, Earthshaker. Like, I will gladly play other roles. Because from my perspective, if there's a guy higher MMR on my team, of course I'm going to let him play the role that he wants to play. I think I played this Nature's Prophet game um, because this this Viper was like a 1.5k MMR ahead of me. I know it's not a rule, but it's kind of an unspoken one. It's one of those things like in Dota where if you're ahead, uh, don't fountain farm. Like there's no explicit rule against that, but you just don't do it to be, you just don't do it because you don't want to be a dick. So that's how, that's my perspective. Feel free to disagree. By all means, you have your own perspectives. I will continue to give the higher MMR player in my game the role that he or she desires. No issues. If you absolutely want to play mid in a game with me and you're a KMMR, people will tell you that I'll always give up the role and I'll say whatever. But notice, like, from my perspective, my motivation does drop. Because if you just if you're gonna argue with me, if I have my hovered over mid and you can see that I'm two K MMR above you, then realize like I don't know what my purpose so much is in the game anymore. Uh anyways, uh try to make a video by probably I, I probably need to grind some solo queue games uh playing the four position, which is my second most preferred role. And I'll try to make a video for you guys. Because I, I normally focus on core roles. And I feel like it'd be better to make things geared on supports. So expect that as soon as I have like five or six good four position games. Or if something really pisses me off and I can tell you guys about it. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye.